Congrats on popping off on Twitter. Oh, thank you. Wait, what? Popping off on Twitter? I'm popping off on Twitter. Wait, what? Oh, this one. Dude, I made this like on a whim. So apparently a VTuber got broken into while she was streaming by a stalker. Again, allegedly. I don't know. Uh, I just said, basically, this is why I have a gun on my desk. Because people keep asking me, like, whenever I do, like, a, like a hands like, Leafly, why do you have a gun on your desk? And this is why. Uh, she came back a few minutes later, uh, leaving a note, says there's someone trying to come in on Steam. Yeah, there was, like, a knocking sound. Um, oh, my God. Look at her little, like... Okay, so I'll talk about this a little bit. So it says she came back a few minutes later saying there's someone trying to come in. She put a text that read there's someone trying to come in before the live stream abruptly ended. By her account, the police said that the man tried to claim that he was her friend as justification for him being there. It is unclear how long she'd been followed by the assailant. We have every defense mechanism you can think of. Motion detectors, strong windows, really, really large panic button and weapons. Well, I mean, the thing is, is we actually don't know what weapons she means because a lot of people, when they say they have weapons at the house, they mean like a sword or something or like a baseball bat or something like that, which is not great. She just meant handheld weapons. Yeah. Okay. So let me explain. So I have had people say to the post, well, like lol America, right? First off, let me explain something to you. And I know we live in 2024 clown world where we all try to pretend that this isn't true. But I'm gonna give you a little bit of a biology lesson. Okay, guys, you guys ready? Women's strength score less than male strength score. I don't give a fuck what you, I don't care what you say. It's just the truth, eat my ass. If you, if you pull some kind of woman power thing, whatever, I don't care, you're just lying. So controversial, so brief. It's, it's just the truth, okay? Like, no matter how you wanna admit it, girls are just weaker than guys physically okay in like almost every way reaction times speed of muscles activating everything basically is is worse for women and you might say oh well i know this this girl that can beat up on a guy okay like you know one girl who might be stronger than like the weakest guy in the world yeah obviously obviously the strongest girl in the world might be, be might might possibly be stronger than than the weakest guy in the world obviously it, there's a range right but even then i mean if you look into it like the best female athletes can't even beat like high school boys in uh in physical sports it's just the truth no matter like how you want to put it but leaf i wouldn't be able to beat the ufc woman champion so okay i'll go through this very simply okay one women are we weaker than men you want to know what changes that a gun a gun completely equalizes not completely obviously like there's still advantages like in combat that men have obviously when it comes to like you know any sort of exertion of physical force whether that's like i don't know maintaining your aim or you know obviously like soldiers um male soldiers obviously have like a huge advantage on like stamina and all sorts of stuff but in the short term a gun is the only thing that equalizes men and women that's why like people tell me like oh leafla why don't you just learn martial arts uh why don't you fucking get your head out of your ass but chun Li can beat the shit out of the fake jesus man Okay, so here's the problem with tasers, okay, guys? So I'm gonna go into the taser thing of, of people talking about tasers. Here's the problem with tasers. They're fucking melee weapons, okay? And if you wanna talk about, like, a ranged taser, because they do exist, ranged tasers have two shots maximum, and they don't work on anyone with any sort of padded armor. Anything. If they have, like, a fucking, like, sh like a shirt, another, sh like, an undershirt, a shirt on top of that, and a hoodie, the fucking taser's not gonna go through it. It has to contact like skin. Both prongs, by the way, have to contact. You can't miss one. Both have to hit. Cause it, the, the, the taser projectile is like, it's basically like fangs, like two fangs. And they both have to contact the skin in order for it to go off. And that's even assuming that the person actually has the physio, physi, physical, what's the word? Physiology to like actually have the, t the taser work because it doesn't, it just straight up doesn't work on some people. And people that are like super cracked out, it won't work either. So that's number one. Number two, most people when they're talking about tasers are talking about gun tasers. I mean, gun like stun guns, which are not, even though they're called stun guns, they're not actually guns. They're not ranged. They're, they're melee. Okay. They're like the ones that you hold up and you you jab a person in the neck with them and then you turn it and it has like the, the electricity that, that that bounces between two two prongs 
That's what most people are talking about when they're talking about tasers. No, nobody is talking about taser guns. Nobody has that shit. They have the the little little stun guns, okay? And those are melee. Again, they don't do anything. Like like and on top of that, like again, you're a woman going into melee against a fucking man. Like oh, I've already established that women are far weaker than men. It's like not even close. I, I tell this story all the time, okay? Like me and my mom both combined, we're trying to move a couch. And my friend who's over my house, at my house, who is like a scrawny dude, walks over and picks up the couch. He's like, oh, you need to move this? I was like, yeah, it's really heavy though. And he just picks it up. And I was like, what the fuck? It was at that moment I realized, fucking penis is OP. What the fuck? Now, how about pepper spray? Slightly more effective than taser. I will admit, but put it this way, you're in your house and the person is in the same room as you and then you fire the pepper spray at them. What do you think happens to the pepper spray? Do you think that the pepper spray is like not gonna get you at all? <laughs> like, okay, so there's that. And then, so what, what else do we have? Oh, I have a baseball bat. Again, strength difference between men and women. A woman having a baseball bat doesn't really change that much. At the range that a baseball bat is employed at, it's, it doesn't matter. The only thing you could possibly like say is like, what if like you had like a fucking giant spear? Even then, it's still a melee strength weapon against a person with far superior strength. So this is fucking earthbound. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is the thing. It's like people keep making some video game references or something or some movie reference. Guys, I hate to break it to you, but video games are not real. <laughs> okay, guys. They're not real. Bow and arrow. Uh, mm, it, one, it, it takes too much room to use a bow. Bow kind of hard to use indoors. Where are you storing the arrows? How many shots are you going to get off before the person gets to you? Like even the crossbow, like... Crossbow would probably be better than a bow and arrow, but even then it's like the rate of fire is pretty low. Uh, the rate of fire is pretty low and bows specifically also use strength. If you haven't shot a bow, probably wouldn't think this, but bows actually require a lot of strength. It's possible you have a, a compound bow, which uses a lot less because it uses like pulleys. It uses simple machines basically to like buff the damage on it, but if you're talking about like a recurve or like a longbow, uh, there's no fucking way. A bow and a crossbow cannot be kept in a constantly uh, ready state. Oh, that's true. That is true, Dennis. That is 100% true. Is you should not keep the bow in a ready state constantly. Exactly. It's like a spring, right? How springs, you don't want it. You don't want springs to be engaged as much as possible. Base. Okay, so let me tell you about guns, guys. Okay. They're compact. They have a high rate of fire. Um and uh, they don't require much strength to use. They're also ranged. At this point in time, they're basically the perfect weapons for like a personal defense scenario. It's the only world in which like a woman can reliably defeat a man in combat, which is why this is kind of a hot take. I don't think you can be a real feminist and be anti-gun. I really think, I really believe that because that's, that's what gives power to women to protect themselves. So we'll go into like another thing here. I've heard a lot of people saying, well, the fact that there's a lot of guns in America means that there's more gun crime. Well, first off, obviously, because there's guns. Obviously, a place with more guns is going to have more crime related to guns. I, I know, crazy, right? <laughs> crazy, right? But let me tell you something. People commit crimes all over the world with all sorts of instruments, knives, bludgeoning weapons, anything, really. They're bare fucking hands. People commit crimes all the time. I think women should be in a position where they're empowered to defend themselves from such crimes. That's all I'm saying. Especially if you want to like even go further into statistics and say that like who commits most of the crimes? Men do, right? You want to put women into like a less good position? And that, because here's the thing, if a person wants to commit a crime against a woman, they can do that without guns. You don't need a gun to beat up a woman, honestly. If a guy wanted to kill a woman, they could do it without a gun. Women should have guns so they can commit more crimes. That's equality. <laughs> in a world where you don't have guns, okay? Like let's, let's, it's in a scenario where you don't have guns and say you're a woman and you're about to get, I don't know, let's, let's just say that you, you're a streamer and you're about to get attacked by a guy. No matter what, what happens, like, Evil finds a way and they get to your house and now they're inside of your house. What do you do if you're a woman? What, what do you do, guys? No, really. Like, what are you supposed to do? Ironically, the other solution to this is to have a man. <laughs> but anyway, so say the guy that's break in, right? What do you do? I'm making a real argument. I'm not memeing. Like, what are you supposed to do? 
Oh, call the cops? Oh, okay. We'll get here in what? So the average call taker processing is 2.25 minutes. Dispatch 1.46 minutes average time. So this is like uh, average 10.71. 10.71 for a serious call, priority two. You can see this is still like 11 minutes. And if the guy who broke into your house wanted to grape and murder you, you're already graped and murdered by that time. So that's my entire point of why you should have a gun as a woman. Because now I at least have a fighting chance because there's only one thing that you can control, guys. And I keep saying this over and over again. The only thing you can control in your life is yourself. You cannot control RNG. You can't control evil. You can't control like how many fucking donuts the fucking cop ate. <laughs> like you can't control this. Okay, guys, you literally cannot. So it's like, like, what, are you going to get a pussy ass cop that's going to like get there? And he's going to be like, all right, guys, I'm at the place, like calling for backup. And he's like, not going to come in and save you. Calls for backup. He's going to wait for backup to even get there. Even if, like, again, this is like first response, right? This, this is, this is like 1071 is like, is like first response. This is like the first person that gets there. So like, it could be like longer for them to get back up, especially in like a, like a scenario where the weapons are involved. But the thing is, is like, if you have the gun, now you equalize it. You put things into your own hands. Right now it's like, how much training do you have? And, and but you have like the advantage kind of, cause you know the layout of your own house. You have, you have a home court advantage, you know? You're the only one has control over your own safety and your, and your family's safety. In the end, what are you gonna do? Are you just gonna regret it? You're just gonna be like, yeah, you know what? I should have had a gun. I should have trained. Horrible things happened to me or to my family, even, you know, worse family members, right? You can't get that back. You can't ever take it back. Someone breaks in, kills one of your family members. That's it. You, you can't take it back. Regardless of like who you want to blame. You want to blame the police for getting there slowly. You want to blame the person for being evil. You want to blame whatever laws you want to blame. You can blame everything all day. But in the end, the only person who could have done anything about it was you. And you're the one who said, you know what? I don't want to do that because it's scally. It's scally. And like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't live in a world where people are going to break into my house and kill me. The world shouldn't be like that. Well, yeah, the world shouldn't be like that, but it is like that. And uh, you saying it shouldn't be like that doesn't actually change the facts.